Hey guys! So today's video comes to you from my dining room, which weirdly enough is where we keep the CDs and DVDs. Because I have been literally worn out of all of my topics this month because of VEDA, I figured that I'd talk about a book. I just started reading My Favorite Band Does Not Exist, which doesn't come out until July, so sorry to anyone who might decide that they want to read this. That has happened a lot around this book, kind of, and I feel really bad saying, yeah, you can't read it. It's not out yet. Okay, um, I'm gonna read the back of the book because it'll do better at describing the book than I will. Being trapped in a book can be a nightmare. Just ask Idea Deity. He is convinced that he exists only in the pages written by a malevolent author and that he will die in chapter 64. Meanwhile, Reacher Mirage, lead singer of the secret band Euphoria, spelt Y-O-U-F-O-R-I-A, can't figure out who's posting information about him and his band that only he should know. Someone seems to be pulling the strings in both of these teenagers' lives. And they are not too happy about it. With Euphoria about to be exposed in a national magazine, and chapter 64 bearing down like a speeding freight train, time is running out. Will Idea and Reacher be able to join forces and take control of their own lives before it's too late? School of Rock meets Alice in Wonderland in this fast-paced, completely unpredictable novel of alternate realities, time travel, and rock and roll. If your favorite band does not exist, do you? The reason that I picked this book up was because of the part of the description on the back in which it says, School of Rock meets Alice in Wonderland? Craziest thing I've ever heard. I feel like I've just been thrown into an entirely new world, and while I am really confused, I am also really intrigued by what is going on. Part of the plot that I've figured out thus far, and I will not consider this spoilers at all, as you figure it all out by chapter one and a half, Basically, Idea Deity is on the run from agents hired by his parents, who run a religious website and think that they are gods. Which is why they plan to go to San Diego and sacrifice themselves in the name of the Lord on national television. Basically, they want to pull a Jesus. Idea thinks that they're insane, and rightfully so, they probably are. Which is why he wants to stop them, obviously. But they send him away to a camp in... Texas, I believe it was, and told these agents that if he tried to escape, it was their job to find him, no matter what, and bring him back to the camp. Which is where we meet Eunice Truant. He's on the run, he's running through a parade, and he meets this absolutely insane girl with a face tattooed on the back of her head, and she covers him in a smiley face and puts him on a bench and puts on a green wig and red sunglasses, and is just totally weird but kind of awesome. I really like her character. Um, but that's really all the story that I know because I am only this far. But speaking of books, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 came out on DVD today and I am so redonkulously excited. Like if any of you guys have not seen Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows yet, I am going to need to like take a second and take a deep breath because that is just unbelievable. You've blown my mind. Completely, like, push, blown it. Also, speaking of books yet again, Lisa, I really definitely completely agreed with your opinions on Mockingjay. That book was going so well, and then at the end, they just... Oh. Anyways, I feel particularly special this week because all of you mentioned me in your videos, which is like all kinds of awesome and in order to express my gratitude I made you guys this. It's a paper heart. You can tell by looking at it. It's striped. I don't know why it's striped. The stripes just appealed to me at the time that I was making it so here you go. Also TJ I remember earlier in the week I told you that you deserved a gold star. I got you a gold star. I would have gotten you the adorable little ones that come in packages and don't look like they were made by preschoolers, but I honestly don't know where to get any. Rory, thank you for showing me what a scotch egg is. It still looks really gross, but thank you. Sarah, on Monday after watching both your collab video and your main channel video, I learned that we have the same skirt, and I told you this, and I figured that proof was needed 
So, this is the best I can do by means of an angle that also shows my skirt. Sarah, I will see you on Monday.